hi welcome back to the channel and today i am here with an another exciting video about the atlassian intelligence atlassian intelligence is a beta feature and we will see how we can activate the atlassian intelligence with our jira products like jira software jira service management and the confluence we have the other products as well so first of all we'll see how we can activate this beta feature to activate this beta feature we will go to this coke icon or a setting icon then i will click in the user management and then you will click in the settings In the left sidebar, you can see we have the Atlassian Intelligence Beta. When you will click in the Atlassian Intelligence, you will have an option to select the products here. Right now here, you can see I am using the Atlassian Intelligence for Jira Software and Confluence. If I want to remove, then I can. And if I want to add the more products, then here I can choose. Let's suppose I want to use this feature in my Jira Service Management as well. I can choose it and then I have to click on the terms and condition and click the save button. Now I can use the Atlassian intelligence in my Jira service management too. If you are not a Jira admin and you really want to use the Atlassian intelligence in your Jira instance, then you can request to your Jira admin to enable this for you. And you can learn more about the Atlassian intelligence with the help of this link. When you will click, then this particular page will open where you will have information about the Atlassian intelligence, how you can activate, deactivate and about the features of the products. Right now, I have also explained you where you can add your product and how you can remove your product from the Atlassian intelligence feature. The Atlassian team is working on it and I am hoping for the great new updates in the future. If I'll talk about the Atlassian intelligence, like for which projects you can use the Atlassian intelligence, here we have the list for the available products like you can use in the Atlas, Bitbucket, Confluence, in the JSM, Jira software and Confluence Trello here you can read about it they have mentioned here in this page like the list below may change once the Atlassian intelligence is released to all customers so it depends on the feature development this list may change now we'll go to our Jira instance again and here you can see I can use the Atlassian intelligence in the Jira software JSM and Confluence we'll go to our Jira software and see how we can do it I really like to write the way of the JQL if you are not a technical person or you don't know how to write the JQL then it is very easy to write the jql with the help of the atlassian intelligence let's suppose if i'll take example of this project this is my development project and now i will go to the issues i'll open the issues navigation panel and here you can see you can write your jql with the help of the atlassian intelligence you can click on the jql and then here in the ai let's suppose you want to find all the stories under this project like find all stories and sorry and then you will hit the enter it will give you a jql here you can see issue type equal to story or you can write or add it as per your requirement right now it's a very basic jql but you can build according to your requirement let's suppose find last month issues you can hit the enter here and it will give you a jql for that like you can see it's a well written jql you can use so this is pretty cool if you don't know about the jql you can write down your jql with the help of the atlassian intelligence now we'll switch to the confluence and i want to show you where you can see the option of the atlassian intelligence in the confluence i'll open it and here i will use this space my testing lab i'll use any of the page of this space I want to take this overview page I'll edit this page and here you can see the Atlassian intelligence here you can ask the Atlassian intelligence to write or edit anything let's suppose I want to add the summary or few points about this page then I can simply use the forward slash to use slash AI and here I can use the Atlassian intelligence I, I will ask oh, summarize this page content in points and i will hit the enter and it will give me the some points here right now there is not a lot of content on this page that's why it is suggesting only two points but if you have 
the lot of content on your page then it is very easy to summarize the page content with the help of the few points you can click on the insert and if you want to copy you can right now i am inserting this and here you can see i have inserted the two points with the help of the atlassian ai this is pretty cool if you are writing a lot of documents then definitely it will help you now we'll go to our jira service management and i'll show you where you can see this ai feature this is my sample project i'll click and i'll open any of the ticket here let's suppose i will open this ticket and now i will scroll down you can use this ai feature to add your internal note and reply to customer here you can see the ai icon is available and you can use it so this is how you can use the ai feature in the jira software confluence and the jira service management that's all for about this video and i hope you really like the atlassian intelligence feature if you really like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more updates like this thanks for watching this video have a great day